everyone, it's uh, ZFE here. I know my name's a bit funny at the moment. Uh, I'm just here to help you out with guitars a little bit. Drop, do you want to get into the game? Let's go to Shipwreck. Now, guitar's kind of interesting, because I think they have some of the, sort of the most potential out of all the weapons at the moment. They're pretty unexplored. People tend to sort of look at them as quite a simple weapon, but they've got quite a lot going for them that people haven't looked into. Let's just grab guitars now. I'm going to try and keep this short. Quick introduction from me. I'm a... Um, I'm a diamond uh, EU player. I main Ember. Guitars and bows, sort of dual main them. I don't specifically play guitars. But yeah, alright, let's get going. We've got some pretty simple stuff. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about guitars as well. I'll start with the, the first one, this. End light into recovery. It is actually a true combo. Yeah, when I say that, it's not true in terms of hits done, it's true because of the two frame startup on dodge. It takes up it hits in the, the first frame out of hits done. But the trick to it is it's only true if you hit the end light stacked. This is one of the biggest things that people don't understand. They get a lot of inconsistency um, when they try and do this. If you hit from over here, that's not going to be true. Drop could have dodged out of that right there. Anyway, let's reset your stock. End light to recovery. Well, you, like end light to recovery is your, is your kill combo. It's just bread and butter. You're going to be using it as much as possible, but you need to learn to get it at at least this close to get the true combo out of it. Uh, and there's a couple of ways you can do that. So if we just keep this in mind, keeping end light and recovery in mind, you're looking for setups and setups to get into that. Uh, it's a really simple grounded one, S light into neutral light. Now you see that was actually a little bit too far away. The end light would not have been true into the recovery. In that case, you have to string off of the end light. There's a couple of ways you can do this. The, the first one, the most simple one, is say you've got someone backed into the corner, you end light them, and they dodge behind you. Bam. That. I mean, the timing was a bit off there. A lot of people will be mashing dodge, they'll come out of hit stun, they dodge into you, you turn around, and you recover. That's a lot of the ways you're going to be picking up kills with guitar, is reading the dodge. Other people say, I hit you like I'm in the corner, and I end like drop, and he dodges away. Bam, like that, dodge forward. You've got to learn to read these dodges off of the end light, because you're not always going to get this, this true stacked range. Uh, especially when people are at high health, they're playing quite sort of safe. It's much easier to hit them with a tip than it is to hit them with the very central of the hitbox. Um, let's just reset your health quickly. Sorry about that drop. Okay, now, combo starters. Very rarely you're actually going to start with an end light. Like, uh, you can catch people dodging in with one like that, but more often you're going to get something like this. Down air into neutral light, and you follow that up, like depending on the range again. If you're stacked, you go for the recovery. True. If you're not stacked, you try and string. You can chase with a set, a dare, and there. Anything to trying to kill a recovery. Recovery is also some, also the highest damage move you've got. Uh, okay, so we've got dare and light. That's true. You can also, if you hit close to them, if you could, this doesn't work if you hit towards the back side of them. You can dare s light and light, and that is true. That brings me on to sorry, uh, didn't actually mean to do that. Brings me on to the idea of s light and light. Just a nice simple grounded approach. Uh, sorry, I think I've just repeated myself there. Doesn't work in orange. It doesn't work past sort of mid to late yellow, so it won't work now. But you do have another setup of that health. I'll go, I'll go into that later. I'm still trying to stick with the true combos here. So you, max damage combo. This is your max damage combo. If you hit the dare close enough to them that the S light doesn't go past them without hitting them, is this. Bam. That is your max damage guitar true combo at the moment. Well, at least it's the one that anyone uses. Um, Everyone uses, sorry. Um, moving on from that. Sorry, let's just reset you back to white. Again, also it depends where you hit them with the dare. Now, this is uh, another one. Moving more in sort of the string side, this is getting a little bit more advanced, is S light into down light. Now, down light's a little bit of a tricky move. Uh, and this is where we get into sort of that, that what I was talking about with guitars being quite underdeveloped, is down light, if you hit them here, isn't true into anything. You have to string off of it with a nair, uh, a lot of people string off of it with a dare like this, and you can get some rather fancy strings going like this, and then you can repeat, you can keep doing that, skip back to white. But D light is true if you hit with the later part of it, if you hit with the tip of the blade. If uh, drop, can you just keep jumping for me? That was a true combo. Uh, it has enough frame advantage, if hopefully you know what that means. The, uh, if you hit with the later active frames of the move, it will go true into recovery, it will go true into, if you jump for me, into Dare, if you get the right height for it, I screw that up. It goes through into Nair, like that. And then you can string Nair into Recovery, so you can do something like this, I don't know if it'll work. Like that. Uh, Adimastic hits me with that all the time. 
Uh, yep, that's it for D-Light. So if you, hit, if you actually anti-air someone with it, it will go true into another move. But if you're just hitting from the ground, you've just got to either hope for the best and go for the string, which often will work because it's quite a quick move. Or you can wait for a dodge, try and read it, hit them with a recovery, hit them with a sair, something like that. Um, it's quite often people aren't going to dodge this, and you can just go for a nair or a dare. But you've got to explore. You've got to look at how your opponents, uh, whether they're a mashing dodge quickly, whether they're being a little bit slow to it, and adapt to that. You know, try and get the most you can out of it. Okay, moving on. I was saying that S light does not true combo into N light at around this health, well, a little bit earlier actually, around uh, early orange it stops. But you can catch dodge reads off of it. People often dodge along the ground when they get hit by an S light. Oh, you're a little too red right now. Let's see the dare killed you. But if someone's in the corner, for example, you S light them, people very commonly dodge in, and you can string with a SIG. I know Zaloxery does this very often. He will S light someone and then do that. Uh, I hit you very close in with the S light there. That. It won't if it, uh, like assuming you're in the corner, people are very unlikely to dodge away. So my my personal favorite, the way I do it is I do this. There, it catches people who dodge in place. It catches people who dodge in. That's an easy way to pick up kills around orange. Uh, it will especially if you have a nice SIG like Embers. Just straight into that. That dropped. That's terrible. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's another good kill setup. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more of an advanced one, and this is again stuff that people really haven't looked at, and it's. Um, Nair. Nair has a lot of active frames. It makes it very good against parry, especially compared to Dare. People who are going to dodge a lot also covers a lot more space. But what people don't know is that Nair actually leads to true combos on the ground at low health. If you hit with the later active frames of the move, there's two two or three true combos you can get out of it. Here's one of them. Hopefully I can get this right first time. Bam, there we go. If you hit them along the ground with the most horizontal hitbox, you can go straight into an S light. Pretty much no one does this at the moment. There's another one you can do. This one's a little bit trickier to hit, but it feels more intrusive when you're actually playing. If you come from above with a dare, and again hit with the late hitboxes, it's true into a D light. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. You can learn the fast full timing for this. If, if drop were at white to yellow, this would lead into a further true combo, because I can pop them up to the perfect height to get the meaty D light which leads straight into a true recovery, so you can do this. Bam. That's a true combo. Pretty much no one knows that. Um, there's a lot to be explored with this. I mean, at lower health, you can also get it into an N-Light, maybe even a gravity cancel N-Light. It's up to you. You can look around with that, play around with the frame data, uh, and good luck. But that's something more advanced, uh, if you're looking into really taking guitars seriously. A uh, couple of tips and tricks. That's pretty much it for true combos. Again, it's... Like, well, no, for, one, one more thing for strings is just juggling people with Nair in the air. Nair is a really strange move to string with. People don't automatically dodge after it like they do if you hit them with an end light. They're not mashing dodge. Um, so if you can just drop, if you jump for me, drop. You'll, uh, you'll notice that, if you just keep jumping and I'll just keep Nairing you, uh, you'll notice that Nair has a lot of different knockback angles. And this can make it really unintuitive to string with, but also to not get hit by a string from, because... Uh, if I hit you with the more horizontal ones, uh, not that one, if I hit you with that, well, no, again. Anyway, if you hit with some hitboxes, you can you have to look at, this is something you have to learn the move. It's quite quite a move, move you have to get quite intimate with, especially since it's such a good one. Uh, if, go on, drop, jump. If you hit from underneath, you can get the recovery, as I showed you before. I fucked that up, but you get the idea. If you hit from the side, you can do something like that at lower health. You know, you can jump up, chase it, and down air. At lower health, you can even do that same thing with a Sair, which would be nice off the edge. Um, learning to use Nair, learning to string off of Nair, uh, learning when people will dodge it, learning when they won't, is, is something you have to get used to, because Nair is just such a good move. It covers so much space, so many active frames. All right. Um, I guess we'll move on to some tips and tricks. There's a lot to advanced guitar that people don't know. Uh, the biggest one, and this is thank you to Doppy, I stole this from you, uh, is down air. If you miss it, it is much slower to dodge away than it is to jump. You can jump practically instantly, and you can cover that with a nair. Down air into jump away nair makes your down air approaches, your aerial pressure just coming down on people who are on the ground, far, far safer. Um, the same concept applies to using S light, actually. It's what enables the dare into S light combo. Is you can, if you miss your dare, you can S light away from someone, which can, unless someone's anticipating it, make your dare incredibly difficult to punish. Um, 
I use the Nair version. I haven't really looked into the Eslite version more. You could do that if you wanted to. The reason I use the Nair version is that if you hit deep in with the Dare, the Nair actually strings and usually hits because uh, they don't. People don't mash dodge that quickly. Exactly like that, yeah. That's a huge thing you should pick up. If you're approaching from the air a lot, as a lot of the car players do, you've got to do this. You've got to make your dares safe because the difference is huge. Absolutely huge. Um, next tip. Hang on, I've got a little list here. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Using uh, your momentum properly. If you look at dare, and especially if you go look at the hitboxes in training mode, dare has a pretty terrible hitbox. But uh, you can use Nair instead. Falling Nair, it feels a little bit intuitive to use, but you can cover a lot more space with it. Not only that, but um, its high active frames makes it quite good against parry. So in all, to just controlling your momentum while you Nair, spacing your your like like your Nairs correctly can lead to like just a lot of success in general, especially against uh, other guitars, against shorter range weapons or weapons that have bad horizontal hitboxes. Um, it it's amazing. Frankly, and another another thing you can do with that is hopefully you have prioritized neutral over side on in your options. If you're on keyboard, if you're on controller, it's on by default. Uh, sorry, I'm, I know I'm talking about it a little bit quickly here, um, but you can do this. You can do a full momentum nair. Uh, this is going to become like sort of more and more relevant. But it's you essentially pass through them. So if drop, for example, if I get to this point and drop it to try and spot dodge and parry me uh, when I dash at him, sorry, you'll see that I go through him. We'll try that again. Yeah, I don't mind. He's on, he's on NA. This is EU, so it's a little bit tricky. But yeah, if he were to spot dodge, if you see, I, I spaced all the way through him, I ended up over here. That's quite a safe distance away. You've really got to control the momentum. You, know, you don't always have to be going down with dead. It's a very precise hitbox. It's got a lot fewer active frames. It's much easier to spot dodge. You'll get punished for it very easily. This, not so much. It covers a lot more space. People spot dodge it. If you do it late, it can catch their dodge as they come out of it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Um, but yeah, don't underestimate this. It's fantastic. It can feel very weird at first to just jump at someone and do this, but it works. It really does. And there you go, Luke. You get a true combo off of it. Um, all right. Have I got? I think I've got one more thing. I'd like. I've been. Yeah, one more thing to say. I've been praising Snare quite a lot, using it for spacing. It actually has a like a worse hitbox to the side than Sayer does. A lot of like guitar Sarah is a move that a lot of people struggle to to use sometimes. Me especially when I first started, I couldn't get this move working, working for me. It's got so much start up, it locks your momentum. Nair just felt like it did everything for me. Like I can fade away Nair much safer if I want to play, be like slightly more passive or if I want to be more aggressive. Even I can hold the momentum forward and keep spacing through. But Sarah is much better at directly challenging hitboxes in the air. This applies mostly to the guitar versus guitar matchup, but it also can happen against uh, sword, against axe, depending on which hitboxes they use, but if Drop just jumps in Nairs, I can definitively beat that out with a Sair, and the timing's a bit funny there, but like that, there you go. It can also beat a lot of moves that Qatar struggles with severely. Uh, Sword End Light as well. You can beat Sword End Light with a really well-spaced Nair. It's a bit tricky to do, the timing's a bit funny, but that is something you, like, don't forget about Sair is what I'm trying to say. Not only does it have amazing force off stage, it really can help you out in situations where you feel like you just can't get in. Um, I think that's actually about it. Uh, I think I've got... Uh, let me double check. Oh, one more thing. Almost forgot about it. Dare off stage has a different recovery time to dare on stage. So if... Hang on, if you go down to white for me. Rip. So dare into off stage nair is true because of... Not, not in hit stun, but it's true because of the two frame startup. Doing this... Uh, let's, you can probably just jump by the edge. You just like jump here. Make it a little bit easier, I can just drag you off. Oh, they got the weird hitbox of the dare. Oh. Sorry about this. Yeah, that is technically true. So if you catch someone off stage, that will make for an easy gimp. And then you can get a follow-up. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. Hopefully this was short enough. Thank you very drop like thank you very much, Drop, for inviting me. Um and good luck.